I'm going to do a quick little review of integration by parts by showing you problem number one. Uh, we're going to use the old Li8 for this. Li8 is a memory tool that U's are up and DV's are down. And L stood for what? Log, like natural log. I stands for inverse. A was algebra. T was trig. E is exponent. So what you do is you look at your two parts here. We have x squared, which fits into which of these letter categories? Algebra, x squared. And where does e to the negative x fit? Uh, no, that's not a log. It sort of could be turned into a log, but we're going to use exponent. So when we make our box, u dv, d, u, and v. We use this box because the actual formula is u, d, v equal to u times v minus integral of v, d, u. And the reason I use the box is that when we're done, we can organize this u, v minus antiderivative v, d, u. It's all kind of shaped up that way. Okay, next, we said that we're going to, the x squared is top closest to u, so that's going to be my u. And what's dv? What am I going to choose for dv? e to the negative x dx. Good. Derivative of x squared is 2x dx. The antiderivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. And the reason this is a difficult uh, subject is because you're doing derivatives and antiderivatives simultaneously. It's pretty easy to get confused. So now x marks the spot. We have negative x squared e to the negative x minus 2 integral x e to the negative x dx. Uh-oh, what does that mean? Got to do it again. And the power of the x tells you how many times you'll have to do it. Uh, can I give you a little piece of advice? Might help. I recommend that for that negative part, you change this to a negative 2x e to the negative x. It's still the same thing, but I like putting the constant in because then this is going to be an entity for u, this is going to be an entity for dv, and I won't have to distribute later and run the risk of distributing wrong, which is number one algebra error people make. So let's do another one. Another box. And this will be u, and this will be dv. This will be v, this will be du. And we're going to put negative 2x here, e to the negative x here. Well, this will still be negative e to the negative x, and this will just be negative 2. Wherever there's a d, there's a dx. Okay, crazy x marks the spot. And so now we continue on from what we had here. Negative x squared e to the negative x. And now look how nice this is. Do we have to distribute anything? No. All we do is negative times a negative is a positive 2x e to the negative x minus a negative a negative. Whew! minus 2 e to the negative x dx. And you know what? I can do that. Negative x squared uh, whoops, times e to the negative x plus 2x e to the negative x minus 2. What's the antiderivative of e to the negative x again? Yeah, you got to have that negative. 
This would be a positive e to the negative x plus c. Now, what the book did is they factored out of e to the negative x. And so they got negative x squared plus 2x plus 2 plus c. Does that look like what they had? Either answer is fine. I like this one. That's good. And that is integration by parts done twice.